Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, I see the puppies. <laughs> A lot went wrong this week. Will we not continue our travels if we don't? You hear hippos? Well, check out the sunrise. Gosh, where are we? Where we are, I don't know where we are, but it will be okay. Welcome for two hours to Kenya. Did you just say we're in South Africa? Alright, we the last time we played this, we were here in South Africa. Mia, I have one pinch. Is it for Mia or Dorothy? Dorothy! No! Okay. I have one flick. Is it for Mia or Dorothy? Say Mia. Mia. <laughs> uh oh, I have one poke. Is it Mia or Dorothy? Mia. Mia. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, Dorothy, don't tell him. I have one tickle. Is it for Mia or Dorothy? Dorothy. Mia. <laughs> Manila, would you like a hug? Or a pinch. You forgot, you forgot a kiss. Okay. Hey, do you want a kiss, a hug, a tickle, a pinch, or a punch? Hurry, hurry! You got to. You, what do you want? What do you want? You got to choose. A hug. Oh. All right, but you can't pick the same thing twice. All right, Dorothy, which one do you want? A hug. All right. All right. Which one do you want? A kiss. Oh, wait, wait, wait! I'm playing it wrong. Yeah, yeah, okay. The last time... <laughs> the last time we played this, but remember, you choose for them, they're gonna choose for you. All right, Manila, should I give Dorothy a hug, a kiss, a pinch, a tickle, or a punch? A tickle. Yep. Tickle, tickle. All right, all right, no, Dorothy, you're now choosing for Callie. Does he get a, a tickle, punch, kiss, or a hug? Oh, he's being a sweetie. What do you want? Um, pitch. <gasps> Bro! Isn't it that bad? Oh. Manila, Callie. Yeah. Callie, <laughs> what does Manila get? A tickle, a punch, a hug, or a kiss? A thrill up. Blah! Now we reverse the order. What does Callie get? A tickle, a punch, a pinch, a kiss, or a hug? Um, um, um. A tickle. Oh, <laughs> but, but I'll show you the example. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna say it. A lot, a lot went wrong this week. Be my lover, my lady river. and we told them and we told them. All right, Callie, no more talking. We got to find our luggage. Hang on. South Africa strikes again. All your dresses were in there? My aerial apron. Your aerial apron? What if we don't get them back? We might not. Will we not continue our travels if we don't? We will. No. We'll just go buy some new clothes. Hey, my lover, my lady river. Alright, G-Family, this is your destination. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Nabeja. Nabeja, say it again. Nabeja. Wow, you're so good at it. Nabeja. Wow, that's awesome. What's up, what's up? Beja. 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 We are staying at the beautiful and beyond property at the Okavango Delta called Beja. 
Yeah. Here in Botswana. It's the coolest people ever. The coolest language ever. Uh, you gotta hear Callie say it. Like, he was definitely, like, the best at all the clicks. Oh, I'm gonna take it. Okay. Good morning from the Okavango Delta. Deja. Botswana! The Okavango Delta. We're staying at... I told you. Oh, I'm the only one who has my swimsuit. <laughs> Lucky boy, it's okay. They can swim in undies or pants or shorts or Nike. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, Dad, I, share you know, I wonder if our guys could teach you to make fire again. Me too. Here. Oh. And they said that if we wanted to, if you guys want to do any like cool walks or fishing or any cooking classes, we could do that tomorrow. But I want to do fishing first. A lot went wrong this week. I think I think we should save the majority of it for the end of the summer and just do like a everything that went wrong in Africa type of video. We don't we don't often show all the hiccups that go on in our the travels. Disasters. And Africa brings like this whole other level of like chaos. But it's just part of the adventure, so we gotta share it, some of it. Get your stomachs ready. It's a bit much. <laughs> Alright, but for this one we can just say we arrived but our luggage did not. Your luggage did not. My luggage contains all the camera gear, so it does not leave my side. I had my luggage, for, I had my thanks clothes. Thanks for letting me wear your clothes for a couple of days. I got you. I liked it. I literally took this shirt off my back for you. Yeah. Just stole my pants. You huh? stole my pants. They look good on you. All right, what you wearing? Yeah, this is get ready with me, safari style. I lost my luggage. Husband's pants? Uh -huh. No one these. Oh. Welcome, Cali Club. And yeah. anyway, I'll be on the Nice. And the kids are just rocking three day old clothes. Four days now. Is this your room? Yeah, this one is mom and dad's. So for the kids' room, we do one, two, three, wow. All right. That's so good. Oh, never mind. It's I'm just mine. Nice. Oh. Whoa. This is cool. I think it's beautiful. Shower. Dorothy, what's out there? An outdoor shower? Let's go now way. we're talking. Yes. <laughs> These classy kids love a good rope. Are you ready to jump? Nope, I do not. I'll do it. I, I very much love. I love business class and they just love robes. I'm gonna jump. No, I'm gonna jump. Callie's allergic to business class. This is a cool swing. This is where I'm hanging out. Look at this spot. Guys, if we are sitting on this swing and see elephants, oh, that'll be my favorite. The male lion can hear three baby zebra playing on the bed. The male lion, oh no. The male lion has been spotted. So he's sneaking and creeping around. Hoping to sneak up on them. Oh, they are unaware of the approaching male lion. Oh, he's been spotted again. Go to the other side. <laughs> summer semester on safari. This week we're talking, <laughs> we're talking about, about baby animals. No, no. This, this week, week we're talking, talking about, about baby animals. All right, so what was that like to be here on very cold safari out in the bush with zero clothes for you or the kids? I mean, it's dirty here on safari. Well, as soon as we got in, the lovely people at the Enbion property we were staying at were like, go into the gift shop and find some jackets. We were like, no, 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 I think we'll just like bundle it. The kids just like throw in a bunch of blankets and they were like, no, no, 
You guys Please. look like Rex. Go clean yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> you got a new jacket? Yeah. Oh man. You guys got a zebra in your books? Yes. Of the sun gets stuck. Yeah. It's just got the area where we're going to be searching. I'd like to, yeah. I'd like to induct you into the ugly five, my friend. I said I would take you. Shh, shh, shh. He's right by us. Are you kidding? No way. Oh, we have never. All of a sudden, we pull around the corner and we see... Baby hyenas. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, these siblings right here. Yeah, yeah. Where's this mommy? It could be, it could be more. It's only that uh, the mothers are not here. Where, where that would be all determined uh, if the mothers are in here. The, in the den. No. Sit still. Please. No, no, they're not. So, for these like little pups, would the moms like bring back food, or would they call uh, the babies to them? Yeah, these ones are still being. Uh, uh, more into into milk, you know, the mothers oh, okay. would actually yeah. uh, feed them with the milk. Because hyenas do not do like the wild dogs whereby they would feed and then come and regurgitate oh, that's our right. food. Okay, what do you know about hyenas, baby hyenas? That they actually, their, their mamas actually go and hunt it and they drag it all the way to the goods instead of wild dogs. Instead, of, because the wild dogs um, eat it and then they spit it out. Yeah, and so they just bring it back to the den. Good job. Okay, but then after like, I don't know, 10 minutes, our guide was like, okay, let's go. And we were like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like We found, we found baby hyenas, let's never leave. Yeah. Ever. And he's like, let's let's keep seeing what else we'll see. What? And so we, you learn on African safari, just trust your guides, okay? So we move onward. And what do we see? Oh my God. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then you see how his head is more orange and his feet are more white. Look at him like Oh, there we go. What chill animals come to detect? The and that would exactly help him. Dorothy, Dorothy, you feel safe. He's detecting, but uh... side note: one of my favorite moments is when we pulled up to the leopard and we're like, God, "Kids, quiet, quiet, quiet!" And the leopard is right there, like feet away. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Cat is like, "Dad." I'm being brave. I'm like, yeah, buddy, yeah. It's like, Dad, no, look, my foot's outside the car. <laughs> I look over, and guy's just hanging his foot outside the jeep vehicle. Oh, Jess got pretty mad at him. Just for being a dummy. Like, I knew he was fine, but I was like, don't be that guy. <laughs> Dad, look, I'm being brave. <laughs> Dad, brave. Look on my foot. Okay. Get your foot back in the car. Right here. What did he say? Oh, he's brave. Brave. I put him out of the car. Yeah. Now we have a question. What's your question? Well, who's faster, a lion or a leopard? Uh, a leopard is faster. Wow. But a lion can, it's also fast, but it's only that the lions are a bit more heavier than the leopard. If he happened oh. to come, oh, look at that, like I've said, stretching. Look at oh, how healthy that animal is. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. It does look like your cheetah at home. Never had a leopard encounter like that. Those just don't happen. Leopards are very skittish. Mm -hmm. And very elusive and oh, they're just so good at hiding. You can go weeks and weeks on safari trying to see a leopard and it just doesn't happen. And, oh, yeah. It and, was th so... and then what does a leopard do? It starts to hunt. Yeah. So by sitting there, he's getting the enemy. He sees the prank of the prey. We love this guy. We've never seen a leopard like this. Never. And for the next 30 minutes, we just watch this leopard hunt. 
The entire experience just felt like a nature documentary in yeah. real life, here in the wild. We were so grateful to experience it. The whole time I'm like, kids, this, this leopard's about to kill. Are you okay watching it? You can look away if you don't want it. And they're like, let's do this. He's checking on the other side. The side oh, he's, he's on the prowl. Too dangerous, because- uh, They would come out and charge? Yes. Oh, he's crouching. What do you see? Watch right there. Hey, you okay watching this? He's on the He's doing the sneaky walk. See that brown animal over there? The heart beast. See it over there. And then do you see where the leopard is? Where did he go? Oh, there he is. We see you. Look at that. Loving himself there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then Leopard gets spotted, doesn't have a, have a successful kill, and then we're like heading back, and then what do we see? Wild dogs. Hunting. Hunting wild dogs. Just, I mean, this was all in. This was what, like maybe a two hour game drive? Guys, I mean, we're just having a hard time explaining the epicness that is Botswana. The sun was setting. There's kind of this dusty mist going. Massive elephants walking through the mist. The, oh, Botswana, wow. Look at that sunset. Not a cloud in the sky. Like every color. Do your sunsets look like this? Is this a common sunset here? Uh, yeah, that's beautiful, yeah. Yes. Middle of the baby. What? Rugs. Rugs. Just forget it. It's just so freaking pretty on survival. I absolutely love. You don't want it. Go I absolutely love Ambion. We've stated a few of their properties. What, in your opinion, based off our experience, are they known for? Well, and beyond, it sounds cliche, but really just go above and beyond. They're just known to be beyond anything, especially on safari. They also have properties all over the world. But I mean, this place is especially wonderful for kids. They have a program called Wild Child, um, which just caters to children. And it's so nice. There's not a lot of safari properties that even accept children especially young children, and, and beyond just always does such a wonderful job. When you show up, they'll have like a backpack and like a, a guidebook and maybe binoculars, different tools for the kids to make it special for them. For me, Ambion always has such good food. Such good food, right? Such good food. And then the other thing is their guides are just next level. Towards the area where we're going to be doing the fishing. Okay. See what we see on the way. Oh, fishing. And we're going to do the fishing. All right. Uh, is there go. snakes here? There is snakes here, but this time of the year, because of the weather conditions, they are not actively moving. What so kind is there? Black mambas. Oh. Uh, the, 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 the sand snakes, the, the uh, green spotted snakes. The is boom slug. Are they? Is it puff adders? Puff adders, yeah, we have them as well. Ooh. Is there king cobra here? Uh, which cobras? King cobra. King cobra. King cobra. We have uh, snouted cobras. Ooh. Snouted cobra. Snouted cobra. Two things really special about this specific and beyond location, Beja. <laughs> One, I got trapped into our lodge tent. <laughs> by a massive elephant. About to shower, but, but, right oh, all around me. There's about 12 of them. And so I was just kind of like, help. <laughs> How did I, oh, I think I messaged you on you, the phone. Yeah, you and so you sent someone and he literally just kind of like stood next to the elephant and was like, come out of your tent, go, go, go. That was crazy.
Thank you. Oh my gosh, big mama just trapped me right into our tent. Really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, can I go see Stay close, stay close, stay close. Oh my gosh. They're coming. Oh, I see another one. Good cheese. It's big, huh? Isn't she tall? Callie, Bye. stay close. There, there. Shh, shh, shh. Go, go, go. That one broke a tree right outside. Jeez. Hurry, guys, keep going all the way inside. The other thing is, how does this location have a choir, right? Yes, we know fire. No, careful, Kelly. Get off, Kelly. You can't put it on fire if you keep doing that. I like it. I like that. Beautiful, la bera, la bera, la bera, la bera, la bera. We shall never forget. With your bare finger? Yeah. Did you in slow motion? Slow motion? Yes. Alright, one second. What are you doing? What are you doing? Beeping. You could hear my heart beep? Whoa, the sunrise. And then you see how it's just misty and foggy out there? Wow. But then look at that little circle thing. Wow. You hear hippos? Well, check out the sunrise. Gosh. Where are we? Look at that. Look at that. Is this so funny? Are you ready for this, Kelly? This is going to be a good day, huh? freezing because I've been filming. Vanilla has the warmest tummy in the family. <laughs> Can I put my hand on your tummy like I let you when we're skiing? Okay. You ready? <laughs> Is it more cold or tickle? <laughs> Ooh, your tummy is so warm. Wow. It looks like cotton candy clouds. Should we go pick some up? Oh, okay, hold out your hands, get some. What is life? All right, update. What are we about to see? A kudu. No, we're not. It's a lion. Oh, a male lion. What are we about to see? A male lion. A male lion. And we're gonna need to be quiet and hold still, okay? Okay. Ouch! Hey, shush, shush, shush. What's another baby animal that you like? Baby lions. We saw these lions and they were meowing. It and since so they're predators in the dark, they have they look like they have red eyes. It's pretty creepy. I know, I know. No, talk to me. Lions can have up to three lion cubs. And also, it takes a while to grow their mane. Because when they're babies, not they don't have, have manes. They don't have like a big mane. Not the girls. 
they have like a bit the boys so they have like a big main like dad yeah, but, but not on their baby. They have to yeah, even on their, their chin, like that, but yeah. hair sticking out, like that. That is a pretty male. Look at the curve coming. Oh, look at that yoni. Now, especially see those Basadi details with their banana. They got here. What's the difference between um, the pink heads and the grey heads? Yes, those pink heads ones, those are the smallest vultures within the vulture family, which is called the hooded vultures. And the ones which are not looks the same, those are the the wide backed vultures. Oh, yeah, I have a question. You have a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, can lions attract their claws? Yes, lions, they do. Attract they retract their claws and only when they are attacking or maybe stretching or maybe uh, fighting that's when they that's when the claws come out Kelly, oh, what's another baby animal that you really like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. baby jackals we haven't seen baby jackals we don't know mm -hmm. anything about them okay 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 I see the, the jackal coming. Kelly, you're basically a jackal. No, I am not. Giraffes? No. Yeah, baby giraffes. Look at that. Hello. Look at this. Baby elephant. Baby elephant and baby giraffe. It looks like you just woke up. Looks like it's right when baby giraffes are born, they're as tall as dad already. Oh yeah, when they're drinking water, they kind of do the splits. And then they kneel down, and then they drink. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're like this. <laughs> yeah, when when they run, it kind of looks like they're running in slow motion. Yeah. yeah. Dad says I run like a baby giraffe. My favorite baby animals are the baby elephants. I love them because they're so cute, and then when they like, don't know how to use their trunks, it's like all over the place, and they're just so cute. Oh, the little baby. Oh, he's taking little drinks. How often do you see rhinos here? Uh, we've got only one rhino that uh, lives in this area. Okay, next notable moment, I think, has to be this rhino that we saw. We call him Manila Spirit Animal because they're one and the same. Get it, buddy, get it. This rhino was fighting a tree, just, just make believe fighting, fighting a tree. Manila's done that many a times. And then he broke off a stick and was like, I got the stick, I got the stick. We continue to watch this rhino just run like the happiest he guy living his own world in his own universe. Large, it's not a stick, branch. Yeah. This large branch across his horn. 
and just balance it and just run and sprint. Oh, look at us. Just run around. Look at us. The one minute where he's running through the water and our guide knows like every square foot of this land that he's like, uh, he's about to fall into the, and then boom, the rhino crashes into the deep end. I was like, Manila, bless your heart. <laughs> Manila rhino, we love you. Oh, look at us. Look at us. Are you taking a picture of that? Video. Oh, video. Oh, but this is amazing. This is amazing. There's a big channel there. He might fail in the channel. Oh! <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Manila, what are you doing? There he goes! Manila is so stoked on his day. Bye, Manila Rhino. <laughs> that was awesome! Wow! Not the Manila The Manila Rhino. No! It's a rhino. You saw a manila rhino. Callie, tell us about the manila rhino. He dra no, drags a tree, he fights a tree, then he drags it around. He just went great, bro. You like it? He had a cut And he got in a neck. fight with a hippo, and a hippo just chomped his neck. You can look in the video and you can see this pretty big gash. Ouch. And this animal is, is badly injured. Look at, look at his yeah. neck. But neck? I feel bad he's got a cut. Manila also does get frustrated. I don't get frustrated. Manila, where are you taking He's this stick? Up. He's trying to beat up. Oh. Hi, right, special report. We have spotted the very rare Manila rhino. But a stick is taking him down. Yeah, it's the Manila rhino versus the stick. Who's winning? Me. Um, stick. I'm, I'm, the, I'm the stick. <laughs> Manila's the rhino. Winning. Okay, these two days. I mean, it started off really rocky. I'm not gonna lie, I was in a bad place when we arrived to Botswana and our luggage wasn't here. And then, you know, we get in the safari car. Why are you smiling, man? I just remember the moment where you were like in a mood and you're like, I'm not going. I'm like, really? You're gonna not go to the Okavanga Delta because you don't have your clothes? I never and you, said I wasn't and you going. And you, go, you go, well, obviously I'm gonna go, but I'm just, I'm just mad. <laughs> I was so bummed. I was just bummed because I think I was so looking forward to the stop that I just wanted to it to be perfect. Way, right. Yeah, so to have this. But anyway, as soon as we like arrive, as soon as we get on a game drive, it's like, man, nothing matters. Just that we're here together. I just won. <laughs> okay, Callie, what's your favorite baby animal? So. They, the, the baby wild dogs don't get the food that their mommy you do. They go and then they kill it and then they eat it. Then they come back to the, to the den and then they spit it out for the kids to eat. That's a good job, Callie. Like. Oh, I see the puppies, I see the puppies. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that little guy. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, here comes Mama. Oh, Mama. Yes, you see they it's like chewing on a yucca the far right. Yeah, can you see the one pulling on it? Yeah, that one's the tiniest. And it's looking at us. Oh, the tiniest. How many puppies did we see, Manila? 14. 15. Okay. Manila, how many puppies did we see? 15. Yeah, and they were so cute and they were playing and rolling around in the sand. They, yeah, they had their own like little tree to hang out with. Because they were so cute, they they had like this little home in a tree, and okay. then their moms were like chilling, okay, chilling in the sunlight for the good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> If there was a time lapse of Callie looking halfway decent and clean, and then all of a sudden, 24 hours later, Same he shirt. happened to have 
just so much dirt. A bloody nose just happened. On his the first, day we don't have any luggage. His first ever bloody nose. We're with these baby wild dogs and I'm filming and I just hear in the background, Callie say, mom, is there blood coming out of my nose? I look over my shoulder and it's just. <laughs> oh, one's biting the other's leg. It's just so filthy. You said we like babies, guys, and we've gotten babies here. And what happened to my nose? Is it bloody? Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, do you have a tissue? Do I go home? No, there's no hole. It's just sometimes you get a bloody nose when it's, like, really dry. Why are you doing that? We're just going to hold it. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they're popping out, guys. So, what time do they usually get out of the water? Uh, after it, sunset? At night, yeah, after dark. After, yeah, after dark. Yeah, what if you cut a hip on me now? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Thank you. Wait, say. Beha. Beha. We're going to be back. Different season because we want to experience all the seasons of this incredible place, all the people at Ambion. Thank you. Mavro Safaris for planning this incredible itinerary. Thank you. You knew we had to come here and you were right. Thank, Thank you, you and beyond. Mabeha. 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 Kevin, you go. Now we just made the. No, no. This is our sauna. Oh, no, you said Mabeha. We, we all take turns. Go. Mabeha. 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 Hey, bud. Nice one, Manila. No woman, no cry. Oh, you had one, Dorothy? No woman, no cry. Oh, oh I got a bite for a minute. Hang on, come on, come on. So while I'm gone, wow, Dorothy, what is a big one? I took it. You have to do that. Look at the yeah! Hi, buddy! Good job, dude! Dorothy, well done! You know, you feel it? Point it up, point it upwards, buddy. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Did you? Is it? Point it up, Minel, point it up. Whoa! Wow, Dorothy! Keep going, Kat, keep going. There you go, Dorothy. You see it yet? Oh, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. You guys see it yet? Not a baby crocodile. Wow, big one. Dorothy! You see the hippos coming out? Congratulations. What? They located the bag. Oh! Yay! <laughs> How do you know? They messaged. Did you not see the message on your phone? No. They are in Johannesburg with Airlink on their way here. Oh, praise the Lord. Wait, who's on the so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy. What message? Oh, I'm stoked message? that I got to be the bearer of good news. Oh, I see here. We found our bags, our luggage. Your dirty shirt is no longer